Hey. <laughs> What's up, I'm Chris, and you're back at Flyride, where you're gonna learn the what, how, and why of custom automotive lighting. So I've got a beautiful carbon fiber GTR here from the guys at Fly One Motorsports. Big shout out to them. So I quickly installed that F1 brake flasher, and I figured this is a great opportunity to just show you how to program it. All right, we have our brake light flasher modules installed on this GTR, and I have something wedged in on the brake pedal so that as I turn this switch on and off, it's the same thing as stepping on that brake pedal. I'm gonna walk through a couple different changes that I can make now, because this is a fully programmable setup. So we can change the mode, we can also change the amount of flashes, we can also change the speed of those flashes. So I'm gonna make a couple little adjustments and I'll explain what I do as I do it. Along with the switch that I've been messing with, I also have a little button that I can push. When I push that button the very first time, they'll tell me what mode they're in by how many times they flash. So I'll push it once. It flashed once. That tells me that it's in mode one. So if I wanna make a change, I can push the button again, and now they flash twice, which tells me they're in mode two. If I push the button a third time, now they flash three times, I know that I'm in mode three. And if I push it once again, it goes back to one. So there's only three modes that you can change from. But there's also the amount of flashes as well as how fast those flashes go. So let's make the change and we'll put it in mode two really quick and we'll save that by holding the button down. So first I'm gonna push the button, it flashed twice, I'm gonna hold the button down and now it's gonna flash rapidly and tell me that it's saved. It's gonna open up the second set of options which is how many times it flashes. However many I set it to, it's gonna stay that way until I push and hold the button down. I'm gonna do that now. Now it's saved that, and now it's gonna ask me how fast do I want those flashes to be. Now it's flashing so fast, you could barely even see it on the camera. So as I keep pushing this button, every time I do, it's gonna slow down a little bit. I'm gonna save it at the setting that it's at now, and then I wanna check that. So I've changed it to mode two, I've added an extra flash, and I've slowed it way down. So, let's see what that looks like. That's Fast flashing first, followed by slow flashes. That's what mode two does. I've got a total of eight flashes. It's kind of a lot, but I wanna see what that looks like in mode three, which is completely different. It's just gonna flash, slowing down as I go. So it doesn't matter how many flashes I have, it'll start fast and it will slow down as those flashes go down. So I'm gonna put it in programming mode by pushing the button once, it flashes twice. Push the button one more time, it flashes three times. Hold the button down, it saves it into mode three. And now I can check out how that looks. Not bad. Now four flashes is the street legal limit. If you see a motorcycle cop zip down past you on the road, he's gonna have flashing brake lights on his bike, all right? You know that you can do this, they're doing it, it's street legal to have four flashes. Going above that is where you're getting into excessive flashes, it's annoying drivers behind you. But in any case, we got a full carbon fiber GTR here. I'm not worried about the guys behind me, I'm worried about the rear end of this carbon fiber GTR. So we wanna make sure everyone can see when we're braking. So we've got these flashes, we can make some changes to them, we can put it back into mode one, and that'll look almost the same, it'll just be more consistent, it won't slow down any. So let's do that. Flashed one time for mode one, we're gonna save it. Now we'll compare how that looks to how it looked before. So just four flashes, it's doing it in the same exact speed setting. It's not slowing down, it's not changing. If we want, we can add more flashes to that. It's up to you, it's programmable. It doesn't really matter how you set it up. If you wanna be street legal, you should probably do that if you don't want tickets or anything. Either way, it's all in your hands. You can add as many flashes as you want, you control how fast it flashes, and you can control the style of flashes that it has. So that is it. It's super nerd stuff, but it's super cool. It's customizable to whatever you think is best.